guys, it's Mari, and today I have a wash and go video for you. I'm using Maui Moisture's Hair Styling Curl Quench Plus Coconut Oil Ultra Hold Gel. This gel is for thick curly hair. This is a 12 ounce jar. I paid $11.99 for it at Sally's, and it was also a part of the buy two get one free sale. So I bought this, and I also tried the cream. That's like this exact same thing, but it's the curl cream. I got that one too. But today, we're going to talk about this gel. This gel does not have any parabens, silicone, sulfates, mineral oil, synthetic dyes, or gluten. But what it does have is, of course, coconut oil, papaya extract, and plumeria extract. It's all put together so that it moisturizes defines and revive our dried up crunchy curls but <laughs> the finish is not crunchy it is definitely a hold i like this product it dried really fast and the gel itself actually has like this iridescent powder shimmer glitter thing going on in the inside so i get like real unicorn vibes which i like because who don't like something to be extra for no reason at all right so I'm getting all that from this gel and the gel does exactly what it's supposed to do and I will be repurchasing it for my backups backups so as always I'm doing my wash and go like I normally do section my hair off in fours and then I break those sections down into slivers I shingle use my fingers to twirl my hair around and I also use my dim and comb wherever it needs be so thank you for clicking on the video and if you stay tuned towards the end or you can skip on through, I have a little chit chat of me just talking about the upcoming holiday season. Like, are we still vlogmasing? Like, is that a thing? Is that not a thing anymore? What are we doing out here? So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys at the end. This particular gel has a really unique consistency. It actually feels wet. Like, I know that's weird to say that a gel feels wet, but it almost feels like the gel has water running off of it. Like, it can fall off my hand. Like, it's not going to be stuck to my hand. So, um, so far, I am, I'm liking the results. I don't know if it's going to dry, um way down or shrinkage i don't know if it's going to be sticky i really don't know but so far everything is going good and right now i'm just trying to decide which side i want my part
All right, so this is what my hair looks like. I made sure I put some curls on the top. So I can get a little volume and I'm gonna do my best not to touch my hair. I'm gonna to try to slick my edges down though. Because um, I'm gonna let my hair air dry. I've noticed that natural gels natural hair gels anything that's not eco styler i notice it's kind of best to let your hair air dry to be honest i can't even see Yeah, I'm just going to try to keep this video short as possible. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I'm so sick right now. The only reason why I'm able to do this now is because I took two Advil's and a Dayquil. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm really sick. I just wanted to um, do my hair so I wasn't continually sitting in sopping wet hair because I deep conditioned overnight. That's been my go-to. Fridays when I go home, when I get home from work, I like to shower, wash my hair, deep condition overnight, and then that way I can have a productive uh, filming for you guys on Saturday morning. So here we are, and then I will come back later on in the day once my hair is hopefully 100% dry um, and share my results. Hopefully, we have some great results. I'm, I'm being like... I'm being optimistic. I believe this is good. I really like the way the styler performs. So we will see and I will be back. So here's my results. I really do like it. It turned out nice. It's very shiny. I have movement. There is minimum shrinkage. This is pretty normal, but I can get more shrinkage than this. Um, this is definitely a staple. I will be repurchasing this. I don't have no dust flying off my hair. Um, it's not crunchy, but you can definitely feel the hold. So that's good. So yeah, I like it. Here. So I hope you enjoy that wash and go because I really did. I am impressed with that Maui moisture. It's very rare that I find a curly natural hair styler that will work on my hair and give me the results that I look forward to with just that product. Like one style of product, easy one product wash and go. Love it. Now, of course, I went back to Sally's to go and get some more. And of course, they didn't have any. So I don't know if I bought the last one. Now, see, I noticed the thing about Sally's is if there are any product that is constantly being bought, being sold out, eventually they stop having it in their store, which is the most stupidest thing ever. But I guess I can understand I whatever. But the point is they don't have it. So now I'm like, am I going to have to go to Walmart? target or ordered off amazon for like a couple of dollars more than what i originally paid i'm kind of mad about it let her know i've never really purchased hair products directly from the source because for some reason i always assume that it would be a lot more than getting a discount from buying it from a big box store i don't know my theory could be totally wrong but that's just how i feel so 
let's move forward and talk about how the holiday season is upon us. And I don't know if I feel inspired or if it's not being rushed this year. I don't know. But I don't really know how I feel about the holiday season. However, I have already started Christmas shopping in October. Because to me, it's just a lot easier financially not as stressful and because i'm the type of person that i only buy for my family like my kids my immediate family and sometimes i used to buy my mom gifts but it would just be a waste now when i buy my mom christmas gifts i just ask her what she want because then I know I can get her something that she's going to use, something that she wants, something that she likes, instead of just wasting money guessing. Because me and my sisters always bought my mom lavish gifts, like jewelry and name brand purses and, you know, all these things that, you know, you want to bless your parent with or parents with. And then she don't even use it. So it just goes into a box with all the other lavish gifts that we've purchased for her throughout the years. And we're just like... No, ma'am. Well, we're not doing that anymore. But I will say this, though. I am excited about decorating for this Christmas because when it comes to the holidays, something about the holidays made me think of growing up. And that was like probably the best times of my life was around the holidays being at my grandparents' house and with my cousins and just, just a lavish party, right? So... I'm like, this year I was able to add a few pieces and my condo is getting painted on the outside. So when I add my Christmas holiday decorations, it'll just look a little bit better because the house is more, spru more spruced up on the outside. That's what I'm trying to say. So I wonder for all of my YouTuber uh, <laughs> peers out there, are we still doing Vlogmas? Now, I am not the one to Vlogmas because... I got things to do and picking up the camera trying to vlog every day I wouldn't mind doing like a vlogmas week like the week leading into Christmas like that final stretch I wouldn't mind doing that but like the whole month nah I'm not doing that um maybe if I didn't have a full-time job I probably would do that but for the most part no nah, I'm not doing that but let me know if you guys like watching vlogmases do you partake in a vlogmas if you are a content creator? Like, what is your thing behind that? Because most people are wiped out at the end of vlogmas. And then they have to take, like, a hiatus. This is, like, the first two weeks of January. As you guys can see, this is a middle part. And I don't do middle parts because my hair is so thin. Like I said, I ran out of the Maui Moisture Gel. So I had to use my Eco Styler and like a cream mix and it really like gather my curls together where I look like it's very thin even though the ends are starting to get a little floppy but I look so bald head I mean look at them baby hairs <laughs> all the baby hairs is like broken off here but anywho I feel like I look like Rick James bitch like I look like Rick James this is why I don't do middle parts. And I did not mention, if I have not mentioned, this is a Stella Rosa Black, Stella Rosa Black Reserve. My absolute favorite. I normally like the blueberry. It can be a little bit on the sweeter side. The regular Stella Rosa has a little bit more punch, like a more pucker to it. But that black reserve is like right in the middle. It is the best. Glass Amazon. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to chit chat right quick. Happy Halloween. If that is something that you celebrate, be safe. Check your candy. And if you are up north, please go to an apple orchard for me. Do the hay ride. Get the fresh hot apple cider. The fresh hot apple cider donuts okay do that for me because that is one of the main things that I so miss down in Texas is half the people down here don't know what an apple orchard is let alone fresh hot apple cider donuts 
Like, where's your life? <laughs> Where have you been? Do that for me, please. Thank you guys. Love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.